Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we are continue working with the my real project which is we already see in my previous tutorial. So today I'm gonna talk about uh, how you can export this model to the Navis work. As you know the Navis work is the best solution when your client uh, wanna see for example your model. He no need any specific knowledge uh, how to open it, uh, how to rotate it, how to find for example the some views and actually it's helping to him uh, for example manipulate with this model again without specific knowledge. We not will talk in this tutorial about let's say quantification or maybe um, like collision. We today will talk only about how to export Revit model to the Navis work and how you can manipulate with this model. First of all, when we working with our model, we should have the specific view, which is called Navis work. Yeah, this is a rule I think for the all the standards uh, which you will find around the world. So go to the, for example, to the 3D view, right click, uh, duplicate the view and rename it to the Navis work. I already have this in the view, uh, go to the inside to this view and there you should uh, have some specific, uh, in the, some specific settings. First of all, I don't need any the shadow, I want to see clear my model. Uh, in this view, you want to see, uh, you should see only the existing model, only the model which is your open. I opened right now, as you can see, the AR uh, uh, architecture model. So I don't want to see any construction things here. That's why the Revit links, I will switch it off here. I will switch it off this uh, here, the uh, all the links. And right now I see only the model, which is I have inside this file. After that, I'm going again to the visual uh, vi visual visibility graphic there and I will go to the import categories. As you can see, my import categories, which is the CAD files, it's switched off. Yes, you should switch it off. Don't forget, go to the annotation and switch it all annotation. And again, you should go to the models and switch it all the models, which is you know, wanna export. Like a mess, for example, you don't wanna see any mess inside your final file. And for example, this is architecture part, I don't wanna see any MAP things in architecture part. Because all the mechanical, for example, equipment will be in the um, from the engineer part, not from the architecture part. And also, for example, if uh, you are really nice working in Revit, uh, in your architecture part shouldn't be any construction walls and construction columns. It's the part of the construction file. But it's already uh, uh, up your case. For example, air thermals, I also don't want to see it. Maybe better to just switch it off the architecture, um, the structure, and now I will just switch it all. As you can see, it's mechanical, electrical, and pump piping, the things. I will switch it all, and I switch it off it. And I will say OK. Now I can see here only the architecture things and the construction things. And now this file ready to export. So. We now worked with the architecture part. Let me, I will later on, we will show you how we will work with the construction part and the engineer part. Okay, I have done the same things with the, my foundation part. So, and now we are ready to export our model to the Navis work. So for that one, you need to go to the file. You should first install the Navis works and after that go to the export and here you will find the Navis uh, export to NVC. And as you can see, I cannot find here the export to the NVC and uh, maybe you will get the same problem. So what you should do if you not will find here the NVC. So if you not will find like I did find the how we can export to the Navis, uh, we have to two ways. We can actually right now we can open the Revit files in the Navis or if you still want to export Navis file, you should go to, to the website, here is the website and as you can see here is the Navis uh, file export. So just download your uh, version and install it. After that you can able export to the, uh, to the, I mean the, you can export Navis file. I already did that, if you will go to the file and again you will click the export, now you will find Navis export. So this is what I want, click on that. And uh, here we have the, some settings. First, we will go to the settings. Let's go inside to the settings. Uh, now we'll open this small window with the, some uh, few settings. 
As you can see, like converting uh, linked CAD file formats, we don't need any CAD files in our Navis work file, so that's why I'm switching off. And here we have only the one important uh, things, which is I wanna uh, show, do you have it? I wanna export only the current view. Let's find the convert elements IDs. Yes, I wanna convert it. Convert elements uh, properties. Yes, I wanna convert it. Uh, converted linked files, as you can see, it switch it off because I want to do it separately. Uh, rooms as the attribute, yes, we will do that. And export room geometry. I don't want to export any room geometry from this file. And where's the views? And as you can see, it's here. Export current view. I want to export only the current view. Let's say OK. Let's um, find, for example, I wanted to export it to the my desktop and let's save it. It takes uh, the time, depends your model, but sometimes it's taking like in a few seconds. But as you can see, it's still working because the my model, uh, it's, uh, I don't know why. I think we will just wait. The model is already finished export, so let me will open my uh, Navis Manage. Here is the my manage navage and I will append the my first file. I will go to the my desktop and somewhere here, as you can see, I cannot find it because actually the type of the format of the my file it's wrong because we should say change NVF to the NVC. Uh, so it's here. Let me I will open up it and as you can see, here is my model. My model now much lighter than we have in Revit, but we still have all the uh, all the properties of each element here, as you can see, here's the all elements properties here. As you can see, everything working. So let's do the same thing now that with my foundation part. I not will close the my uh, after desk Navis work manage. I will just close the my Revit with the main uh, main building. So now we will open just only the foundation part. I already prepared the my foundation part. I think this is one. Let me will check it. Overwrite existing copy. It not will take a lot of the time. Uh, yes, I already prepared it. As you can see, here is the my Navis work file. They have the same shared coordinates, so I no need care about it. It's already the same. They have the same coordinates. Why I'm talking about it? Because when I will export it, uh, let me I will first export it. Navis file. Let me check all the settings. It should be the same. Uh, not any cut formats, current view, blah, 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 everything all right. And let's save it. As you can see, this file just few seconds because there are like few geometry. And where is that? Where is the my Navis file? Here. Let's append one more file. It's here. Uh, I think it's here. Yes. Or maybe this one. No, it's this one. Let's open up. And as you can see, we have now here the two files, as you can see and they exactly on the right position. So we don't have any uh, garbage uh, geometry here. We have only the uh, model, which is we want to send to the, our client. We're just starting to work. I don't know, like few weeks only. And we already want to show the, our client like work in progress. So what we're going to do? First of all, you should save save as this file like nvf because later on you don't want to create the new file again put all the geometry inside you will just um, remove only the sum files i will save it like nvf geometry and after that i want to create the union one geometry for the my client union one geometry is the format nvd it has the nvd let me I will save it done it's already saved it as you can see, we have now have NVD file. What I should do with this file? You can simply send to your client without any problem. And uh, if the client have the, for example, uh, Navis work freedom, it's free as you understand. Uh, he can open and rotate it, see what, how it's work. Uh, maybe I have the Navis work freedom. Let me, I will check. I don't think so actually. Yeah, I have the pretty old one Navis work freedom. Let me I will open up. This is for free software, so your client don't need anything. But this is uh, software don't have uh, all the solutions like um, manage one. Okay, here we are, and let me I will just open up it. Just drag and drop your file here, and as you can see, here's your file. That's it. Few seconds. All the things we already have here too. 
for example, we can manipulate even the views, the views. Why not? We can do everything, uh, not everything, but uh, quite uh, the basic things uh, in manage. But what if your client doesn't have even the freedom, uh, Navis work freedom? For those who don't have it, you have the variant to go to the, for example, to the Autodesk uh, A360 or it's calling right now uh, Autodesk Drive or you can go to the uh, BIM 360. Uh, so if you have the uh, BIM 360, you already know how to use it. If not, um, welcome, just try it. So I already have the, here the file, but I will use the different name without version. I don't want to see the version. And as you can see now, the my new file loading inside to the uh, this uh, after this drive. Let's just wait a few seconds and I will back when the platform will finish the uploading. As you can see, uh, it takes, uh, it took like a few seconds, but uh, still it takes the time. You should think about it. And here is our model. Just click on that, double click, sorry. Double click on this model, wait for it because the platform actually loading your model and it sometimes takes the while. Uh, as you can see, I, you can see the blank uh, website, but wait, wait for it and you will get your file here. So, and your clients should be patient too. And as you can see, here's your model. That's it. And even this model rotating here much better than it's uh, rotating here. As you can see here is with some freezing, it's small freezing. But here, no, here it's working like uh, really naturally. And one nice thing, this model by this website can be open in your phone. Just try it and uh, if, if, for example, you are uh, watching the my Instagram, I already showing you how it's working and that uh, it's working really, really perfect. So guys, if you want more tutorials about the Navis work, we can go slowly by deeper and deeper to the Navis work and the Revit and you will see how it's working in a real uh, battleground, let's say, in real life and uh, maybe you will find some something uh, really interesting and workable for you. For this tutorial is finished, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.